think the way that I'm going to do this is film room by room. So I kind of show you the progress of each room. We are starting in the bedroom, um, which currently is very empty. I will include some clips here of like what the whole room looks like. Completely empty. Today we're starting off with literally just painting the walls. Everything is just getting painted completely white. So there's like a complete fresh blank canvas and then I'll pick some colours. I'm going to do wallpaper in here as well, which is very exciting. I know the lighting is terrible, I'm sorry, but basically this the pure white, just white, white. It's going everywhere, floors, ceiling, literally everything. Um, yeah. Had to buy all the painting stuff again from scratch. So obviously trays with the big rollers, the little rollers to do like doors and stuff, skating boards behind the radiators, little paintbrushes. And of course, got this big boy to do the ceilings and the... So today we're tackling the hallway part two. So far we've done one coat of just pure white. Today is the second coat and I'm hoping if I'm feeling up to it and I have time, I'm gonna try and do the off-white coat that I've chosen as well for the hallway and maybe the bedroom. Not sure if I'll get around to that. So the bedroom, the bedroom has had two coats of the pure white so it's ready for the coat of the off-white I'm only gonna do one coat of off-white I think that will be enough um, and then the color so I'm hoping to get that done soon same with the hallway I'm hoping to basically have all of upstairs done before I try and tackle downstairs slight change of plan I just opened up the white white um, and I'm not sure how well you can see, there's not much left and I still have all of downstairs that I want to do in the like pure white before I do a colour. Um, so to avoid having to buy more, I'm going to go straight in with the off-white and hope that maybe I could get away with just doing one coat. Probably not, it's probably going to need two. Um, but we'll see how it goes and then potentially if I'm feeling up to it, I can do the bedroom at the same time. So I will try and include a little before photo if I can, but this bit here above the door and like in the hallway, there was a huge box here, another huge box here, and all this stuff for this like security system that didn't actually work. Plus all these wires that would run along here and around here to like a box here that didn't work um, and along the door and everywhere. So yesterday we ripped that all off and then obviously that left like quite a few holes in the wall so I had to fill um, all the holes. There was also this wooden plank along the top here um, so we ripped that off as well and filled it all in and it honestly looks a million times better. Obviously not much I can do about the fuse box. We scrubbed it up so it's a lot cleaner. Now I'm gonna sand all this down and then paint it so that it matches the rest and then hopefully today I will be painting the colour in the hallway now that the banister is gone um, and the hallway will be pretty much finished besides like things I'm gonna put on the wall in terms of painting it will be done so I've done the final white coat and I'm just measuring up for my half wall that I'm doing I've worked it out so it's the same height as this banister because I think this is a good like level for the paint it gives like quite a good level to have stuff still on the white bit so I basically marked like on each side and then put the tape up and then you can see that I'm kind of going down the stairs um, at the same kind of rate that the skirting board goes. So then this is just gonna go all the way down there. So here is our fully taped up wall. I almost ran out of tape right at the last minute, which was kind of scary. But basically a little top tip that I learned when I did my like geometric wall before I moved is don't go straight on this with the dark color because when you peel it off, you'll probably get a little bit of bleed. So you go over it with like the tiniest, like thinnest layer of the main color that is already on the wall. So obviously um, white. So I'm just gonna do a little bit around the edge and then once that dries, then I will go in with the color. So this is the colour I'm going for. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like it, so I'm going to do a little tester on like one little bit of the wall first. I am literally the clumsiest person in existence and it's a good thing that this carpet is getting changed anyway, like that's already in the plan to get this changed because 
I have just poured this all over the carpet. I am just going to use it to paint the wall because, you know, I don't want to waste the paint. But I'm annoyed at myself because I'm going to have to clear this up. It's probably going to be wet, which means I have to try and not step in it for the rest of the day. Otherwise, it'll be all over the rest of the house. We have officially done two coats. So let's try and get a little bit of peeling action. So all of this is off and it's painted, looks all nice and new and we basically have the walls in the hallway completely finished, obviously still got to get new carpet and the next thing is to decide what to put on the top half of the wall because obviously it's pretty boring like this, I think here is definitely a good space to either have like a picture or a mirror or something but I need to decide on the whole layout. Yeah. At the bottom of the stairs, I'm definitely gonna put a mirror here, I think, and then potentially a little like table for, ooh, focus, that'll line up with this paint bit here and just go on here so that I can put like my keys and stuff, stuff that you might need for when you're just like going out the door. So we have finally finished painting the bedroom. It took three layers of white paint to like actually fully cover the wall so you couldn't see any marks anymore. And so now it is finally time to put up this wallpaper. This is the one I've chosen, very jazzy. I wanted like a neutral color, but I also still wanted something that was a little bit out there. So I went with this. Most of the other walls are gonna stay white, so I'm hoping it's, it won't be too much. Basically, it's going on this wall here, the bed is normally here, and I have just lent it up against the wall because I didn't buy a wallpapering table. Um, and you know, it was clarified to me that it was completely fine to just use the floor for the wallpapering and then to like mop it up afterwards because this floor is getting changed, so it doesn't matter too much if I ruin it. That's that's what I went with. I don't need a wallpaper table because the wallpaper that I've got for downstairs is peel and stick, so. This is what we're doing today. And then I will probably end the video after that because there's no new improvements coming anytime soon and you guys haven't actually had a video yet. <laughs> this is paste the wall wallpaper. So I actually don't think I'm even gonna need to paste it on the floor. I'm pasting the wall and put it up. Things that I had to buy to be able to wallpaper. A bucket to mix the stuff in. Um, this is the paste the wall stuff. I'm assuming we'll find out in a minute that you pull that in there and put some water in with it. I bought a wallpaper pasting brush. This little rollery boy. This I was unsure whether I really needed it and if I could probably have done some makeshift version. But it basically like pushes the two like sheets together to make sure it's like seamless, I think. We've also got scissors. I do have scissors, but my scissors are pretty gross, pretty old, so I thought get some new ones for this. This wallpaper trimming wheel, because I just know that if I didn't get one of these, I wouldn't have done a very good job of it. So bought one of these to trim wallpaper and a plumb line, which is basically just like I saw people online saying they pay like £15 for one of these. This one cost me £3, so it was justified. But it's literally just a piece of metal on a piece of string that allows you to get a straight line down the wall for you to align your wallpaper with. Also, I'm really sorry if it's echoing in here because I have just moved all the furniture out. Oh yeah. Let's just do it. I've watched a few YouTube videos on how to do it. I think I vaguely know what I'm doing. I need to go and get a screwdriver so that I can unscrew the wall plugs when it comes to it. And I need to turn the electricity off so I don't like to keep myself. Okay, this has formed like a really big clump when I poured it in. Also, I feel like I should have got something a little better to mix it with. Oops. This is just a disaster. Like, why do I try and do things like this? And also, what the hell do you do with wallpaper paste when you finish? Like, anything that I have left over in here, what am I doing with that? 
Okay, we've got this lovely thick paste. It has got some lumps in it. Um, and I tried to get them out, but they're now just like big solid gate balls. So hopefully it'll be fine. We won't put those on the wall. Now, I don't really know how much paste I'm putting on the wall, but we're gonna just go for it. Oh, I just did in some. So I've done the first strip. It was an experience to say the least. Um, I'm not sure how well I've done it. It doesn't look very straight, but like I did it the way you're supposed to do it. So maybe my wall is just not straight. The hardest part was like chopping it at the top. How do you do that well? So I managed to do my first plug socket and I think it went pretty well. And I've somehow lined this up so badly that I'm gonna have to paper literally this tiny little gap. And I'm pretty confident it's gonna happen on the other side as well which is so annoying. And I did it. Uh, there are a few little dodgy bits, but if you didn't know they were there, you wouldn't be able to spot them without like really going over it with a magnifying glass. I think I just know they're there because I did it and I saw them when they happened. Um, I'm pretty chuffed with it. I'm gonna rebuild the furniture, put the bed back, and then I will show you tomorrow when it's all finished. And here we have it. Obviously it doesn't look like much right now because I'm missing a bedside table and the bed is still on the floor, but you kind of get the idea eventually when there's like, I'm gonna have a white headboard so that it won't be so much like in your face. And for some reason, like the way that it portrays on camera is so different to what it looks like in real life. Like it looks super, super busy. Almost looks like there's more leaves when you look at it through the camera, but like, it doesn't look like that in real life. But there we have it. We're very chuffed. And I'm gonna end this little update here because nothing else is coming anytime soon. The next things are kind of like major updates. So I'm getting new windows. I will be looking to get carpet here, get the fireplace room. They're all things that are coming next and they're all things that rely on other people to like book in to do and stuff and money to pay for them. So they're gonna take a couple of months to get done. So I'll see you then. Maybe I'll have more updates before then. As usual, I update a lot of like smaller things on TikTok and Instagram. So if you wanna see those, follow me on there. But that's it for this little update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was probably very chaotic because I filmed all the clips like weeks apart, but here we are. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.